Uh, karibu tukuze matunda. Uh, I want to quickly speak about uh, something on seeds and seedling selection. And I'm somewhere in Kenyaga County. Uh, this is a farmer that I'm trying to, or rather, who approached me and requested if I can be of support to him. And um, before he came to me, he had planted uh, around 230 uh, seedlings, um, which happened to be grafted. And what happens is that uh, he noted that they were having a very hard start. And I'll slowly, uh, the seedling, for example, that I was seeing here, um, this one here, you can see um, this is the this is the rootstock that is Mudalkwa, uh on the lower side, and up here um, is where you have the scion of tree tomato. And I want to clean some of these that we have uprooted, and you're going to see why at times I have issues with grafted uh, seedlings and uh, I'll be providing evidence right we are going to clean this up for you to see where the problem is okay. but on the other hand this guy approached me and he showed me the challenges that he was facing so here is another one you can see the seedling here bending uh, that's a grafted seedling um, so I sent him to Plantec to go and you know, get some uh, non-grafted seedlings. And he came and planted, and you can see the difference between that and that. So this seedling, for example, that I'm showing you here, uh, was planted a month, actually one and a half months. So we have these two, the case of these two seedlings. Eh? So this seedling one, what you're seeing here, this is grafted. And we have another one here, which is not grafted. And uh, this one happens to be slightly older in the field with a month and a half. This one was planted much later. And you can already see the difference. Uh, we've walked this journey uh, before. And I'm not here to point fingers at anyone who sells grafted seedlings. That's not my point. If you choose to go the grafted way, well, you can go, or you can choose to take our advice. It's up to you. Um, but I can tell you, there are a lot of theories out there. So all I'm showcasing are uh, non-grafted seedlings. And here is one that is grafted, right? So grafted, non-grafted, right? Look, non-grafted. And you can see the vigor. So again... That has not been grafted. Here you go. This one has been grafted. Same farm, same care. Uh, not grafted. Grafted. I've said this many times. And I've written quite a number of articles. Um, detailing my experience on uh, grafted uh, seedlings. So I speak from the point of um, a farmer who started his journey by doing grafted seedlings. And uh, though my experience was not that extreme, one thing I've noted about these grafted seedlings, I don't know, one of the reasons given why people need to graft a, a tree tomato is that grafted seedlings are resistant to nematodes. I don't agree to that because one of the biggest challenge we've noted with grafted seedlings is that uh, they're very susceptible to nematodes. I don't know why. It's actually the opposite of what is presented, right? So every, this section that you're seeing here, these are the seedlings that were present, were were <clears throat> prepared by uh, Plantec uh, in Ivasha. 
and you can see the vigor the trees you know you can see that the trees picked on well but the few that this guy had planted before i don't know where he got them from um are struggling like you've seen and as a result he has to keep on uh, replacing them so anyway to cut the story short um you don't have to go through the same route that you went and we have since found out that let them give you another reason but nematodes is not one of the reason they are very susceptible to nematodes so um my guy is cleaning those uh, seedlings and as he does that so i want to show you the damage you remember the ones that i was talking about yes you can see how they have stripped this um, this plant so um, so hold on there and I'll be showing you the cleaned seedlings um, and you'll be able to see for yourself how nematodes manifest themselves in tree tomatoes but that's a beautiful sight you can see the trees are doing very well believe it or not if you go to plant I think these seedlings will cost you 40 shillings a piece uh, very much affordable so it's not an issue of it's, an, it's not an issue of affordability yeah the grafted one will cost you say 80 shillings it's up to you um, to make that decision so there you go the beauty the beauty of these uh, farms is that you know in a month or two the results will be out and you'll have you will see uh, whether you're on the right or on the wrong so anyway, that's my experience. Uh, let me show you shortly how these are the, uh, you know, how the roots usually look. And I think that is where the problem is when it comes to these grafted seedlings. In the meantime, this is a very much severely attacked uh, plant. Keep on saying, uh, make sure that you scan for pests and diseases don't allow these things to undress your tree you can see that they can eat and they're just simple caterpillars eh? very simple caterpillars but very very much uh, common um, and they love tree tomato uh, uh, leaves eh? so yeah besides that I think I'm generally happy with uh, what I found here uh, and I know without a doubt, looking at the size of these stems and the vigor that these plants have come out with, uh, this girl will be enjoying fruits, say, by December. So, yeah. Let's see how this root uh, turns out after they are cleaned. Just to show you that this grafting thing, at times, it's not what it is presented. So there you have it. Uh, like I mentioned, one of the biggest challenges I've noticed with these grafted uh, seedlings is the presence of root knot nematodes. Now, look at that. You see those knots, those, um, how do I call them? Those stuff that you're seeing, you know, those swellings. I'm trying to look for the best words to describe this. So here is our seedling, and as you can see, the seedling was struggling to to grow yet. It's been served with everything good, including all the compost manure. But there you go. So if you understand it, if you understand what grafting is, you can see that's where the grafting was done. So you have a scion. Scion is the upper part of a tree tomato or tomato. Tamaril. And down here we have this uh, aka Mudakwa aka bugweed. So bugweed belongs to the Solanae family and that is why it's used. So the compatibility. But this is where I have a problem with these crafter seedlings. You see that? I will liken this to if you've grown up in the village like I did Whenever a cow had issues, you know, like uh, the mouth is injured and all that, you find that the cow is unable to feed and it starts growing thin 
and no milk very little milk and it's the same concept here right so here you go uh, so we have uh, a plant that has been attacked uh, by these root knot nematodes um, and you can see so meaning the tree of course feeds using uh, uh, the roots so uh, like the case of a cow then you have a tree that is very much affected and as a result see see you see that swelling you see that swelling there so as a result the tree is unable to feed and you can see this was just a very weak clean seedling right this problem is very much associated look at that look at those roots huh? and it doesn't matter what you feed this tree with i can assure you this tree will never reach its full potential so it's a cow that is sick in the mouth you know that has an infected mouth it's unable to feed it starts growing thin it's unable to produce milk and look what a coincidence all the seedlings that i've selected they have one thing in common they're all grafted uh you can see there you go yeah one two three four five six and there you go right you see see those uh, swellings root no nematodes you see the leaves looks like they have been battered and i want to show you the the difference eh? right look at that now these are the seedlings that uh, uh that are ungrafted uh, and you can already see that they don't have the same problem the size of the leaves you can see the vigor the the way these plants are growing right um every time i've touched this topic on grafting there are people who think that you know i'm trying to drive people out of business and with all due respect i think for me first i'm a farmer so at the end of the day all the information that i'm presenting here you can present uh, alternative evidence or rather you can counter this by evidence i provided my evidence um i'm not there to drive anyone out of business but i i this is waste so this these seedlings that you're seeing here for example um there are how many those are six uh, assuming one seedling was bought at 80 shillings six times eight it's 480 and this is money that has gone to waste right because this seedling will never reach its full potential it will never but i can assure you the seedlings that you're seeing here right um and if you are unable to buy seedlings you can also prepare your own seedlings it's not a it's not a big thing like it's something doable and i think i've written on you know quite a number uh, of articles on 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 seeds and seedling selection so it's something that you can do as a farmer but i feel bad whenever i see farmers incurring this kind of loss the truth of the matter is the person who sold these seedlings made their money the person who sold the manure made their money the person who has sold all the agrochemicals that have been sprayed on this tree up to this point has made their money the person who pro supplied fertilizers has made their money the only person who is not going to make anything out of this is the farmer so and this is why you see many farmers start this venture they end up losing it in the middle of everything incurring losses and this can be avoided so do your due diligence get to know where you're getting your mother trees get to know how your seed, seeds and seedlings are prepared and maybe you might get lucky that uh, next time uh, you don't become a victim of this so this to me it's a big loss and i've told this farmer to approve all those seedlings because the ones that were planted a month after a month and a half after have gone way ahead and these ones are still struggling trying to find their bearing and direction and it's a waste you can't even feed the cows with this so 
be wise you can choose to follow our advice you can choose not you can i mean the decision still lies with the farmer at the end of the day so hope i've enlightened someone uh, that is the site that you'd want to see in your farm not this struggling stuff that uh, you're seeing here so thank you so much uh, i'll attach a few articles that i've written on grafting and i i'm very much uh, available to hear your feedback um and my my goal is to contribute to the body of knowledge on fruit farming in this country and beyond because i've suffered i've lost a lot of money trying things and you know i said uh, with all the learnings that i'm going to you know get along the way i'll share it for free and this channel is inspired by that just sharing knowledge it feels good when you walk into a farmer and see beautiful plants and knowing that you're part of this journey i think for me it gives me more satisfaction than anything else if this farmer makes it i can tell you for sure we will have a better community maybe he took a loan to invest his money here then you end up buying the wrong seedlings and boom you are sorry you are unable to um or rather maybe this person took a loan and he, you know all the money get lost by making the by making wrong decisions so i hope this project will at least uh, be successful all signs shows that uh, we'll get lucky and yeah try to get a mentor try to get someone who has walked this journey before tree tomato farming is quite uh, it's quite an involving uh, uh, type of an agribusiness make sure that uh, you walk the journey with someone who can hold your hand look for a mentor someone who can who has gone ahead and you'll be able to show you uh, or rather hold your hand and uh, at least uh, navigate or rather help you navigate and by doing that maybe there'll be less losses so thank you so much thank you for watching um Remember to subscribe, remember to share this video. Thank you, bye.